my, my trimmer is acting up a little bit tonight. Not to worry. If it gets bad, I stick my thumb in my belt. I used to put it in my pocket, but that doesn't look so good. <laughs> there are two extremes on the convention center. One is the if you build it, they will come kind of a thing. I don't think that's a good choice for Kerrville or any place for that matter. Um, I am not about to stick this community with a 14, 15, 16 million dollar tax bill. That's not going to happen. Now the other extreme is if a developer comes in, does the whole kit and caboodle like a high hill country resort, I'm just picking one, and they build their own convention space. I don't think that's going to happen either. I think what's going to happen is somewhere in the middle, we will probably negotiate with the developer and we will probably give them tax incentives and some other goodies to bring, bring in their uh, uh, project. But I don't think it's going to be, I will not stick you with a, with a bill to pay that right now. Now here's the straight skinny on a convention center. There are 600 convention quality rooms in this town. When, when we are at high season, we're 85% of it, that's 90 rooms available. 90 rooms will not support a convention center. So it's, it's pure folly to think of a convention center unless it comes with a hotel. So my stand is not to stick, stick with that taxpayers, you can probably support some tax incentives and some other things, and no way, Jose, unless it includes a hotel. We have four uh, groups who have submitted proposals. <laughs> Two of them are crappy. That's a technical term. One is pretty good, and the other is possible. Can I add that on to something else later on? Try to <laughs> <laughs>